Hi everybody, I have March's Project Roundup. It's a whole lot of crochet and it's a whole lot of bright colors. So I started with this. This is Sunshine and Rainbows Bonnet. There's a video tutorial on how I made this. Um, and when I made this, I had this idea to make this, but I had like, I had to buy each of these colors. And I have been stash busting for like years. I had, and I still have so much fabric and so much yarn that I always try to use what I have first. And um, when I had this idea, I really wanted to make this, but I had to buy like each of these colors. So this is six skeins of yarn for these six colors of this rainbow that I had to buy for like one stripe each. So um, after I made this, I wanted to use up all my rainbow yarn. So I made this rainbow swirls hat. And let's see, the top is a spiral with all six colors of the rainbow. Um, well, ex excluding indigo. But um, so I made a video on this one as well. And I'll put the links to all of the video tutorials and all of the written patterns in the description box. So when I made this, this was for my husband. Um, then I decided that I wanted to make a bonnet version of it. And it was actually a little bit harder to make the bonnet version. Because um, the hat, you just continue spiraling. But for the bonnet to make the bottom open like this, you know, so this goes over the baby's head, it was a little more difficult. And so what I had to do is if you can see, I had to um, like fasten off each of the colors to get a round circle and then add the colors back on to get the sides and the top. So that took a couple tries and this one is, I'm pretty happy with this version. The other version I had, I was trying to continue the spiral and it ended up being like much wider on one side than the other and it really sat funny on the baby's head. But this is a much better version. So I have this written pattern. Uh, I also made some mittens. I, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of spirals, but I made these spiral baby mittens. I really like the spirals because you can change the color without, you know, changing, you know, your yarn. So you can get all these stripes with basically two lengths of yarn and you don't have to worry about hiding all your ends. You just have one end of each color. So I have these no scratch mittens, and then I made an adult version. This is the medium size I made for myself, and then I made a larger and a small like child size. So I only have uh, made the prototypes of those, but I have this pair. And then I've made these um, baby teether toys, and again I was I'm just loving the rainbow colors and actually I had cotton yarn in every color of the rainbow so uh, these are all stash busters and I'm so proud of that. <laughs> you know I didn't have to buy any new yarn for this. Um, but these are just made out of cotton yarn so you can wet them and put them in the freezer and they're really nice for um, teething babies and they're fun even when they're dry and they really like the bright colors. My baby loves these. and. This one I made with kind of um, different textures. So this is like front post and back post alternating. This is just kind of like a net V-stitch. And then these are popcorns or bobbles, whatever you want to call them. So I thought that would be really nice to, um, you know, chew on for my baby. But uh, these I have to wash before I give them to her, but I'm sure she'll love them. And then the last thing I have, this is actually tomorrow's video. So this is a sneak peek. If you're seeing this before April 1st, this is uh, a headband. It's called Simple Polka Dot Headband. I just have to finish editing the video, but this should be up tomorrow. Sorry. And um, the pattern will also be on my blog tomorrow. And uh, that's everything for March. I have um, plans to, in April, make a new tutorial video every Tuesday, so kind of like Tutorial Tuesday. It's got a nice catchy ring to it. I'm hesitating to say that I'll post, you know, a new video every week, whether it's for my crafting or my cooking, just because, um, you know, things come up and I'm all new to this, making videos and editing and, and I just don't want to set myself up to stress myself out. 
But I think for the month of April at least, I'm going to commit to a new craft video every Tuesday and a new cooking video every Thursday. So Tutorial Tuesday will be a go in April, so I hope you all are excited about that. Um, right now I have plans for at least one sewing project during the month of April. I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be a Tutorial Tuesday or if I'm still going to do uh, crochet every Tuesday and then add the sewing project. I'm not exactly sure. I'm still weighing the pros and cons. So just to give you a little of a heads up of what to expect in April and I hope you uh, enjoyed all my projects in March and we'll see you again in April.